What is going on guys, Farva here, and right now I am making somebody's butthole very wet. And you will understand what I'm talking about when you hear it. But anyway, um, I wanted to take a break from Raging Rednecks and Busting Boosters just for one quick second because I've been getting a lot of messages on YouTube as well as Xbox of people asking me how I started YouTube and uh, how I got into it and what I do in my spare time. Now, as far as YouTube goes, I had just a bogus channel way back when and uh, it wasn't even created by me, it was created by a friend because he wanted me to like and favorite all his videos because he was a YouTube tryhard. Now, I mainly used that channel just to post goofy little Black Ops clips from Black Ops Theater. I didn't even have a capture card. But uh, that all changed when I met Lost in Place. I remember the first, the first two channels I started following on YouTube was uh, Lost in Place with uh, Booster Busters and We're Gonna Lose, MW2 Losers. They kind of made me think about getting into YouTube. Uh, Lost had a video up. It was kind of like a contest of, you know, want to be a booster buster for a day. Well, I posted a drunken comment on it, something about boosters killed my family and I wanted my revenge. And after I posted that, I, I can't even remember if it was the next morning or the day after, but I got a message from him and he said, you know, I really like your comment. That was funny. I want to do a bust with you. And uh, we did our first bust, which you can see right here on the screen. And the rest is history. Um, that bust, I was accused of having an ass tumor. I was yelled and screamed at. It was it was like an adrenaline adrenaline rush. It's fucking 4.30 in the morning. I can't talk. It was like an adrenaline rush. And uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I did a couple busts on my own that were mediocre at best. And good luck trying to find them these days. So I did my own bust. And it was a certain video where the boosters told me that it was a federal offense for me to upload that video and that I was going to go to prison. And after that video went live, I was playing Xbox with my friends and Lost in Place hopped online, sent me a message, or I'm sorry, a party invite, and asked if I wanted to be a full member of the team and the rest is history. Now, it was October 29th at about 11.50 or so, I was on a Skype call with the Red Dragon and Lost in Place. Now, Red was pretty intimidating. This is the first time I talked to him. I knew him as the, you know, great Battlefield guy, great tutorials. You know, I'd never talked to him before. It was kind of intimidating. One thing uh, I quickly learned is, you know, he, he's a great guy. Red is a great guy. I love him to death. And him and Lost convinced me to start a new channel, uh, something similar to my gamer tag. And I did, and I'd say within just a few days, I had more subs than I did on my old channel. I had over 200 on my old channel when I switched, and I got close to 300 in, in just a few days. Um, and not all of my YouTube success, I guess you would say, came from uh, just Booster Busters. Uh, I had a lot of help. I mean, a lot of help. I had a couple Battlefield clips uploaded to uh, Amazing Films 24-7. I had one on Game Sprout, and I had one on, uh, or I'm sorry, two on Breeze Attack's channel. Um, so that helped out a lot. And even last week, uh, Champ Chong uploaded one of my clips. The Red Dragon uploaded one of my Battlefield Challenge videos. And Deranker uploaded my first ever NASCAR troll. And I pulled in so many subs from that. Um, so I've had a lot of help. And I appreciate all the help you know, from all the other YouTubers. As well as from you guys. You guys are really, really why I do this. Uh, if I can make you laugh, I've done what I've set out to do. So I thank you guys for everything that you do for me, uh, you know, all the comments. I love the feedback, and it is getting kind of hard to keep in touch with all of you, but in the description is my Facebook and Twitter, and you guys can always chat with me on there. And if you ever want to play, just feel free to hit me up on either one of them, and, you know, if I'm not busy or something, I'll, you know, I'll hop on and play with you. But um, another question people were asking me is what I like to do when I'm not making videos. When I'm not making videos, I'm probably at work. If I'm not at work, I'm with my girlfriend of over three years. And if I'm not there, I do a lot of photography. Um, I've been into photography for quite a while now, and it's one thing that I uh, I really enjoy. It's kind of like a nice uh, relaxation thing. And, you know, you can see some of the pictures right now on your screen. But, anyway, guys, that's me in a nutshell. That's how I got started. That's what I like to do. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for all your support and everything you uh, help me with, and you know it really means a lot.